Hey guys, welcome back. This is Shannon here. I'm here today to show you how I achieved this look right here. If you want to see what I used and how I did it, just keep watching. So let's get started. Now just keep in mind that this is a eye makeup tutorial slash drugstore haul. Um, I'm just going to start with the haul a little bit. Okay, so I got three palettes um, the other day from Rite Aid. They're from Wet n Wild. One is Comfort Zone, which is this one right here. You guys, I have already swatched these because I tried to make this video once before and it was a fail because of all the environmental noise outside. So that's why it might you might notice that there's some samples already. <laughs> my fingerprints are already in it. But this here color is my totally favorite color out of that palette. It's like a duochrome. It's kind of like a brown with uh, kind of like a teal green flex to it. It's really pretty, but that's that row. Now I'm going to show you this row on my fingers. I just figure since I'm doing a makeup look also I'm not going to be swatching my hands, the colors on my hands, but I can promise you the swatches were really nice. They're very pigmented. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And that was, again, comfort zone. Okay, so this next palette I got is called Poster Child. It has very, very nice colors for spring and summer. Very fun. I'll do this row first and then the second row. Look at the pigmentation on those. Again, that was Poster Child. So the third palette that I got from Wet n Wild is called Petal Pusher. I'm not a huge fan of purple, but I do want to do a look with purples soon. That's all these colors. Well, this is kind of like a pinky purple. I don't know if you guys can really see that very well. Let me swatch these for you on my finger. There's the colors. Very pretty. Now I'll go ahead and swatch this next row for you right here. This is gorgeous, these colors. I love these colors. Again, that was Petal Pusher from Wet n Wild. Also, I picked up this blush brush by Wet n Wild. I've been wanting it. Online, it looked like this was more rounded, but it's like kind of flat. Not really... I, I tested it out earlier when I tried to make this video for the first time. And I don't know if I'm really loving it. It's I prefer my blush brushes to be a little more fuller and fluffier, like this one right here by Eco Tools. But we will work with it and see. Sometimes I change my mind about products. But this is the Wet n Wild blush brush. Next, I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray that I picked up as well at Rite Aid. All this Wet n Wild stuff I got at Rite, Rite Aid in the States. Um, my fiance picked it up for me. He picked me up the three palettes, the blush brush, the spray, and also some makeup wipes, which I actually really like. So that concludes the Wet n Wild products that I got at Rite, Rite Aid, and I have two more drugstore products that were actually purchased from the beauty section at Walmart. I picked up this Cobalt Blue eyeliner from the beauty section at Walmart though. Drugstore basically. This is the L'Oreal Silk Kissimmee Cobalt Blue Eyeliner and it's supposed to last, I believe it was 16 hours. I did however wear this and I wore it for about, I don't know, 6 hours or so and it stayed on my waterline even though my eyes were draining, like my eyes are like really watery still from the irritation that I had and they, it stayed on my waterline, no problem. Even when I removed all my makeup, it was still on my waterline. <laughs> so if you want an eyeliner that's gonna stay put, this will definitely do the trick. This next one is L'Oreal Infallible 
liquid eyeliner in the color electric blue. They didn't have cobalt blue, so I um, settled for the electric blue that's very similar. But there you go, there you have it. There's the drugstore portion of this little haul. Now I'm going to do the eye look. So I'm going to go in with this lighter blue in the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this darker color right here. Now I'm going to take this flat brush by Royal and Lang Nickel and I'm going to go in with this pink right here and just apply some of that to the lid. And I'll take the blue, the brush with the blue on it, blend out the edges of that eyeshadow. Also blend around here. Give it a smoother look. I'm actually going to go into another palette as well. I'm going to go into this palette as well. I'm going to use this color right here. It's a really shimmery pink at the top here. And this one is Petal Pusher and it's on the top row here. And I'm going to take that brush once again with the blue shadow on it. And just buff that out here in the crease and around here. Same with this eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this brush right here. This one is from Eco Tools. It's very small, more dense, um, rounded blending brush. And I'm going to use that to apply a little bit of this blue to my lash line, this lighter blue. Now I will go back into Petal Pusher and use the same brush, I just cleaned it off. And go into my inner corners with it. Just to highlight it a little. And I'll bring it into the lash line a little bit right here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this eyeliner on the waterline. And I'm going to try to smudge it into my lash line as well so I can buff it out. I 
I'm going to put a little bit in here as well and smudge that out. Now I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original in Cobalt Blue to my lashes. Okay, so now that my lashes and my eyeliner is done, I'm going to go in with this color here. I must have taken the sticker off of this one. Anyway, this is by ColourPop, this pink one right here. I'm going to be applying that above, just underneath my brow bone, all the way across. Somewhat blending it into the blue. Just lightly. Now I'm going to take another brush, the same one I used for to apply the blue underneath my lash line. I just cleaned it off. I'm going to use a little bit heavier of a hand this time and apply a little bit more of that same color right here just underneath the brow arch. Now I'm going to take my Ofra Rodeo Drive and I'm going to apply my highlighter Apply some of that to my nose. The Cupid's bow. And now because this is such a bold eye look, I'm just going to go in with a neutral, nice neutral color. This is Jiffy by ColourPop. And here is the completed look. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see the color of the mascara and the eyeliner I hope you guys enjoyed this look please leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like to see me do a tutorial using a Dollar Tree makeup I have a bunch of Dollar Tree makeup that I just bought the other day and I'm going to be doing a haul on that but I would like to know if you guys would like me to do a full face first impressions of the dollar store makeup. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day you guys. Bye!